So we are here waiting for him after this fight. Lightweight, light heavyweight contest over eight rounds between now, I think, yes, light heavyweight contest over eight rounds between Paul Sake and Mandela Atolik. Paul Sake is coming from the Ghana Prison Service and Mandela Atolik is coming from the Wisdom Boxing Gym. Now the officials are Koti Nate, Richard Gate, and David Nate. These are the judges. And the referee is Nathaniel Obain. The boxes again, Paul Sake from Ghana Prison Service and Mandela Atolik is from the Wisdom Boxing Gym. If the boxes are ready, the reverie, let's welcome from the blue corner, Mandela Atolik. We're still waiting for the boxes, but uh, once again, let me thank all of you for being part of this wonderful boxing league. And this is season number three, and the boxes are making waves. Some of them have repositioned themselves. A lot of them have been counted. Today, our national champions and Commonwealth champions and African champions are indeed making some huge statements in the world of boxing. So we want to thank our sponsors, Dow Sovereign Star, Premium Moto, Soccer Birds, Techno Mobile, Max Buy, and IMS Electronics. We thank them so much for the package. The next bout is light heavyweight contest over eight rounds between Paul Sake from the Ghana Prison Service and George Amuzo from the Wisdom Boxing Gymnasium. Let's welcome the boxer from the blue corner, George Amuzu. <laughs> Contest scheduled for eight rounds. We are going to be having back in the ring Wisdom Mandela Atulik. We've seen him in the ring during the uh, professional boxing league a couple of times. There he comes with the. Uh... Well, this is the corner of uh, Ghana prisons, rather, and it's uh, Paul Saki who mounts the ring. Paul Saki fighting a lightweight bout or a light heavyweight bout I should say for the Ghana prison service Mandela Atulik will be fighting out of the blue corner for wisdom 
boxing gym. This is the penultimate fight of the evening. So, and right after this fight, we have the boxer. It will be the much expected bout between Ghana Army's Alex Ochre and, and Panic's boxing gym's Simon Kafari. So, we as we told you earlier on, for the, the biggest of supporter today. of uh, Ghana Army in terms of the uh, Ghana Professional Boxing League or the Bell Seven Star Professional Boxing League. The chief executive officer of awards gh he's here in the house and it is his support his backing that has given not only the ghana armed forces or the ghana army but almost every sporting discipline of the ghana security services awards gh or awards center has a hand in it and so from apparel to kits to financial support to almost every support that the, the security teams need. And we'll be seeing a lot more of award center in subsequent editions of the uh, Bell Seven Star Professional League. They have in print in uh, handball, basketball, volleyball, hockey, table tennis. Award center is the name. And they are here this uh, evening or this night to give Ghana Army that support that he has given them right from season one. And uh, the support that Award Center have given Ghana Army culminated in the Army winning the grand prize of a brand new car for season two. So let's see how Ghana Army will perform in the last bout of the night. It will be the turn of Alex Ochre to fight Simon Kafari in a welterweight contest. But now we pay attention to Ghana Prison's Paul Saki, bubbling with a lot of confidence, as you see in your shot, waiting just for the bell to go. So we are ready to go. And with the Mohamed Amin Lamte will introduce the two boxers. Of night number six of the ongoing Bell Seven Star Professional Boxing League here in Ghana. So the judges are judge one. Koti Nate, Judge 2, Richard Gate, and Judge 3, David Nate. Now, introducing the boxer fighting from the blue corner, spotted in the black and white trunks, black shoe, red gloves to match. He came to the ring with a weight of 174 pounds from the Wisdom Boxing Gymnasium, owned by the head trainer of the Black Bombers of Ghana, Dr. Ofori Asare. And this is the boxer with the official record of 32 fights, 40 fights, 32 victories, 7 defeats. Presenting to you the boxer, George Amusu. Crossing over to the red corner, one of the finest in our local boxing fraternity in recent time. Light heavyweight division. This is a boxer who is going to fight at the corner of Ghana Prison Service tonight. He came to the ring with a weight of 173 pounds. And tonight, sweated in the black trunks, black shoe, black gloves to match. This is the boxer with a record of eight fights. No defeats, no draw, eight victories. Two of the victories came by way of knockout. Presenting to you the boxer, Paul Saki. And the man in the center of this fight is Nathaniel Obey. Okay, gentlemen, I expect a clean fight. Obey my instructions. Nathaniel Obey, what boxes throughout the, the uh, or through the last set of instructions? Paul Saki in the corner of Ghana prisons and in the red corner. In the blue corner is Wisdom Boxing James Mandela Atulik. Round one. So here we go, round number one. Light heavyweight contest. 
Paul Saki fighting in the uh, black and gold colors. Atulik losing his balance there. And he has to do a lot of defending. I'm sure he was uh, overtaken by that quick response from uh, Paul Saki. For those who have been watching and paying close attention to the Professional Boxing League, Mandela Atulik, it's an old foe. Paul Saki, obviously the younger of the two boxers. And Mandela seems to have recovered from that early slip. See how he can bounce back into the bout. And obviously his corner keeping very close attention on the uh, quickness of uh, Paul Saki. Paul Saki slipping in the corner. Nearly went down. This is a light heavyweight fight. Paul Saki coming into the ring at a weight of 173 pounds. The prison's officer. And Mandela from Wisdom tipped the scales at a weight of 174. So it's just a pound difference between the two boxes. But obviously, Paul Saki taking the bout to Mandela. Of course, we know Mandela is a stayer. He's got durability. And he probably would want to stay on his feet for the remainder of the uh, bout. But one ideal thing about Mandela Atule is that he hardly backs off. He have that kind of big heart in him. He's a durable boxer. The name of Mandela Atule, fighting for the Wisdom Gymnasium. Switching over to the other boxer, Paul Saki, from Ghana Prisons Gymnasium. He's the boxer with the black gloves. He seems to be a technical boxer. And, uh, you know, Mandela Atulik is down. And uh, that could be as a result of uh, a punch uh, from Paul Saki. And uh, that is it. Mandela Atulik to recover from the count. This is, this is not the Mandela Atulik we know. He is a boxer who uh, always comes forward, but maybe, maybe, Prince, it could be something wrong or it could be something very, very hard. I think on, uh, so, Nana. Mandela. I think so. Yeah. There must be something wrong with Mandela. Yeah. He looks a bit dazed. Yeah. Fortunately, Team Doctor is there, yeah. and uh, Ringside Doctor is also there, yeah. and we're walking through whatever it is and you see they're working on his uh, side the ribs on the side not too sure whether he has an injury there thank you very much mr dj and do us wherever you are and this is a very interesting bout going to the side there Paul Saki, and then works on the uh, frontage of uh, mandela still standing forward he managed to claw back some pride a few punches, and then it was Paul who kept the rhythm going for him. An overhead punch there from Mandela, and then yes, yes. Paul Saki connected a punch to the left side rib, or should I say the right side rib of Mandela Atulik, and it caused the problem. Before we move into the final bout of the evening, where Ghana Armed Forces would have to lock on against Panic's Boxing Gym. Ghana Armed Forces, you get ready. Alex Autry, and then Panic's get ready with Simon Kafari. So, we now have the verdicts. Ladies and gentlemen, the light heavyweight contest ended prematurely in round number one, one minute. 48 seconds by a technical knockout presenting to you the boxer 
from the Ghana Prison Service Paul Saki. Paul, congratulations. Thank you. You look good. Yeah. In like a Charlie, in like a cafe, me. Oh, yeah, my people Sure. Charlie, Uber Modua, Uber Modi. In fact, men, I catch question here and here a few. Minivan will end the fact that we are Naka. Oh, that be no more. Oh, I know Ben Amoya, I could not join in here. It was more than you take it, you go in fear with. Can you be friendly back on a Jason? What? Don't go on speed in the back. I said, I'm going to be a lawyer. Okay, Paul, piano, oh no, oh no, oh no, nine. Oh, we need friend. Three knockouts. And then, Paul, then, you're going to go high tech. Let's have you wait. 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 On a mogot to make up Dixie. On a UH, Jacob Dixie of Angele. Oh, no, you name. Mamma, be son of people, me people. Oh, a yammy, because never I wear mamma, I gave a jimmy, she mean and do be a yammy. A wear man, John, oh, ring him in Dumo Fiamo now. Care to hear by him. Dumo ring him in you. Kawi is Jacob Dixon here. A Jacob Dixon here. A ne, ne, me no. Mini, Mino, Chagbe, Mino, Chagbe. Oh, you share like me, Jacob Dixon, Chagbe. You share like me. Because like him, I get by him. Eh, Mio, a woman, on a mission. A yoga, you know, no, she be an unboxing, and do more ring, give me a yoga, a tree, a Okay, very well. He's calling the bluff of Jacob Dixon. Jacob Dixon is our current champ, and he's calling him to come. And uh, rub shaders with him. Ewo nakbe mini yomo yo kau fanse. Oh, numo ba jo mo fiamo. Numo apu wa jo mo fiamo enye ba biye mo kwe shani kwe. She yo anu wa shu mo fiamo. Ni me ko mo ko kololi ke ba biye mo ko fololi kwe. Yo anu wa lida me ke mo fiamo a she shani shu shu. Kaja me tia me sami. Je pa pa chale wa fi. Ni next two is a work pe na kai no. Numo ko ebi a chole bonona cho. Mo bo. Bono na cho, bono se wache. Alaji boys, ona choko boys we, choko boys we, ona wandi, wandi. Well, that was Paul Saki. He's calling the bluff of uh, Dixon. Dixon is one of our best boxers in recent time. He's calling him to come out. So right about now, we're going to invite our very, very, very exciting artist. He's gonna sing for us. After him, we'll go into the dancing competition and we end with the final battle of the evening. You are live on Max TV, the best TV station when it comes to sports, entertainment, and more. Shall we please welcome from the red corner, Shalom. 